Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're really excited to be taking a look at this. It's the amazing Dinosaur Discovery magazine and this is issue one. Here in the UK there was recently a big advertising campaign for this magazine and it turns out that it's been released before and this is kind of like the second phase of its advertising. But essentially it allows you to build a T-Rex skeleton that's enormous and then eventually you actually build the outer skin for it. Now this reminded me of an old magazine called Dinosaurs published by Orbis and we have reviewed that magazine on the channel. Link to that review is down below if you are also reminded of that old magazine. Uh, but today we're going to be getting this out of the box and taking a closer look. So this is going to be published weekly. Um, it's made in association with the Natural History Museum. I don't think we're going to showcase every issue on the channel. I just wanted to showcase the first issue because it was 99p which is actually ridiculously cheap for what you get in this set. It comes with a nice carry case handle so you can actually carry the box around and contained inside is the upper part of the T-Rex skull. On the back you can see in a little baggie here we have the magazine itself which will have a little flick through as well. So let's get started. So here's what you'll find in the box. You've got one giant skull which will get assembled. The teeth are actually on little pegs so you have to snap those off and assemble the jaw and then you can see we've got the magazine over here. It's quite a weighty bag so I'm imagining that we've got some extra bits with this magazine. With the magazine bag broken open you can see you get loads of different booklets. So we've got the magazine booklet itself uh, we've got this one about building uh, your T-Rex skeleton, which is an overview of what's going to happen with the T-Rex. So here you can see uh, there's the skeleton and there's the skin version that comes in later issues. And then it gives you an overview of what's in the magazine. So that's almost like a little bit of advertising for the magazine itself. Then we also get an assembly guide. Now this is for the whole T-Rex. So this is really cool if you want to see where the T-Rex is going. And it might give you some indication as to how many issues they might sort of spread this over, I don't know. But it does seem like um, it gives you the entire uh, breakdown for assembling the skeleton, and that's what you end up with. Pretty cool. And then we've got some advertising for the magazine itself, subscribing, enter a competition. Uh, here's, uh, I think this is the subscription form, if I'm not mistaken. And it turns out that you get loads of um, free fossil extras if you do subscribe. So they're obviously really trying to push uh, the subscription for this thing. Um, but as I said, I think I'm just going to get the first issue just to see what it's like. And uh, it's also very good value for money for £1.99p you're getting a lot of cool stuff. So let's have a quick flick through the magazine that you get itself. And straight away, it's reminding me of the Orbis Dinosaurs magazine. Uh, if you haven't seen that review, link is down below. But these painterly pictures uh, are really reminding me of the old Orbis magazine, which was really popular and did really well. So they're kind of right to try and follow that trend. Really nice artwork in this magazine. There's loads of nice information in here. I can tell there's a fold-out stage here. Look at this. Wow. Really nice. Beautiful artwork. And for 99p, you can't go wrong. So if you are looking for something for your younger ones, I think this is a great magazine to pick up. Now, I did have trouble finding this in my local WH Smiths and also a WH Smiths further afield. Um, so I don't know how readily available this issue is. Uh, but do keep your eyes peeled and hopefully you'll come across this pack. And then at the back, we've got a little summary of the T-Rex skeleton again. Pretty cool. So a pretty nice informative magazine. There's tons of information in there, so I'm going to enjoy reading that later on. So here's the real reason I picked up this set for 99p. You get this smashing replica of a T-Rex skull. It's unfortunately only the top half. Um, the other parts do come in later issues. Unfortunately, issue two does not just have the lower jaws you'd expect. So they're obviously smart to that idea <laughs> because some people might just want to buy issue one and two and just get the skull, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Anyway, let's break this one out of the box and get him assembled. So here is the T-Rex skull out of its packaging and constructed. It was really simple to build, took me five minutes. All I had to do was snap off the teeth from the pegs and just insert them in the holes. No glue required, so that is is really nice and actually it's not a bad little hulk of plastic I mean it's 99p uh, so you can't ask for too much but that's a pretty good looking T-Rex upper skull 
Um, it's got some nice pock marks and loads of other little details in there. It's quite a nice sculpt. Unfortunately, we are missing the front teeth, which I can only assume come with future episodes or the inside of the mouth, which is coming in the next episode. Um, also, we have this unsightly catch at the front of the mouth, uh, which is, I can only assume, to keep in the interior part of the jaw. So I will be tempted to kind of file that part off as I'm not planning to buy any future issues of this magazine. And also I might give it a little bit of a weathering um, with some tea or some coffee just to bring out all these details and make it look a little bit more genuine. Um, also we have these hinge holes on the corner of the skull. I might be tempted to fill these uh, with a little bit of polyfiller or something um, so that I have something that looks a little bit more like a naturalistic skull. But apart from that, it's a really good looking upper skull of the T-Rex. And here's a quick closer look at all the detail. So as you can see there's the teeth. Some of them are quite stubby. Um, I don't know if that's a uh, manufacturing error or if they intended for them to be that stubby but there they are. And then there's the interior, it's completely smooth inside. And as I said, in the next few issues, you are supposed to be getting the interior cavity of the jaw. Uh, but I won't be investing in that because it goes up to a price of $5.99, I believe. So uh, I'm only getting this because it was nice and cheap. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at Amazing Dinosaur Discovery Magazine, issue one. I think it's a really promising magazine. It reminds me so much of the Orbis magazine, Dinosaurs, which, again, we have reviewed on the channel. Link is down below, so go and check out that video review. Uh, I think it's a really exciting set for kids and to be able to build a dinosaur skeleton that's 1.2 meters high is pretty exciting. Uh, where they're going to put it when they're done, I have no idea. So that's something for mums to worry about. If you've got this far in the video, I want you to leave a comment down below stating which dinosaur skeleton you'd like to own. In the meantime, guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.